Hey, hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to some more Pokemon action. I'm your host, Ryan. And, uh, yeah, I, I still don't know if I really like Assault Vest on Drampa. I don't know if it's really making a difference in anything. Can I change? No, I can't change. Okay. Um, so, I don't, I don't know. I might get rid of it and swap around and stuff. But I have to figure out what moveset I want on my Drampa. Uh, so we've got Toxapex, Tapu Lele, um, Koma O, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, Oranguru, Bulu, and Marowak. Hmm. Mudsail is going to be super important against the Toxapex. Um. I'm trying to think what he might do here. I'm going to start off with Mimikyu. I'm going to go Araquanid. I'm going to bring Mudsdale. Do I want Drampa? Or do I want Hariyama? Nah, Drampa's more important here. I don't think Hariyama's gonna do very much against this team. It actually, it only hits Bulu super effectively, and even then, it, I already have um, Drampa for that. And and Mudsdale, not that I want to keep Mudsdale in against, uh, against a Bulu, but something to think about. Alright, uh, let's see what they want to do. What do you want to start off with? What are we gonna see? Mimikyu and Araquanid versus Oranguru and Tapu Lele. Alright, so I'm gonna go for Trick Room. I know that's probably not the best of ideas. Um, I'm gonna go for Trick Room. And instead of my original plan of going for Lunge on the Oranguru, I'm just gonna one shot the Tapu Lele with a Liquidation. A height, uh, Z move liquidation. Oh, are you gonna just instruct the, the Thunderbolt? I kinda forgot you got Thunderbolt. Don't tell me you're gonna do that. Oh, I'm faster than you, so it doesn't matter. Oh, Garrett. <laughs> Garrett, Oranguru. Oranguru. I hope you instructed them. There's no way it's surviving this. There's no way. If this survives, I'm gonna cry. Because there's no way. There's no way. Come on. Come on. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> get you wrecked. Um, oh, so Oranguru went for Trick Room itself. That's unfortunate. Because um, there's no way. There's no way it underspeeds me when I go for Trick Room. So that was a good That was a good uh, prediction on my opponent's part. I kind of expected Instruct purely because that probably would have killed me. But I guess he didn't want to kill me and get Trick... Because killing me wouldn't really do much if, if I had Trick Room up. Um, so... So you bring in Marowak. Could have predicted that. Now. I'm gonna go for Trick Room again. And I'm gonna go for Protect. I wanna see what he does here. Is he gonna Shadow Bone? Is he gonna double into the Mimikyu? No, he protects. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff there. No, he went for Nasty Plot! You done messed up! <laughs> you goofed! You goofed! That was a feel, no, you goofed. Now I'm gonna burn the Oranguru. Because, screw that thing. Um, just get some residual damage off on it. And I'm gonna need to liquidation the Marowak. And that should be pretty solid. He might go for Trick Room again? I don't know. I don't know why he would, but whatever. Now, I don't know if my Liquidation is really the best option here, because he's probably going to switch into Bulu. Um, I could have Liquidation the or Oranguru, but I think this should work. I don't know why he went for Nasty Plot. So he's Nasty Plot, Trick Room, probably Psychic. I mean, most definitely Psychic. And maybe like Shadow Ball, I guess? I I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure. He's thinking really hard, though. He's like, I don't really know what to do here. He gets the double protect? Really? Come on. Cheapskates. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why? I don't... I don't understand that. That made no sense whatsoever. 
Oh, did he think he's gonna underspeed me? Oh, silly goose, you're not gonna underspeed me. So he only has Psychic, which isn't really that scary. Um, alright. Uh, so I'll play rough the Oranguru, see what damage it's got. Uh, let's see what he's running in the back. He's got the Bulu. I don't know if I care. I'm gonna go for the Liquidation onto... Mm, you know what? I'm gonna Liquidation the Oranguru. Oranguru. There's no way he's staying out the Marowak. There's no way. Come on, don't do it. Don't stay in. Don't prove me right. I mean wrong. Come on. Switch into Bulu. You know you have Bulu. You know you have Bulu. Come on! Yo, that instruct made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> it literally made no sense. Did he just expect to get me to reprotect? Because that's not how instruct works. Oh, that was beautiful damage. Oh, and we get the defense drop. Now, he does have the citrus berry, so he's going to survive. Is it citrus? Yeah, it's citrus. Um... Wait, he went for- oh, I was like, he went for- wait, why does he even have Earthquake? That doesn't make sense. That was a cool animation, though. We'll give him that. Um, I don't understand the Earthquake at all. I don't even know why he went for Trick Room. I, I mean, Nasty Plot. Why do you go for Nasty Plot? That doesn't make sense either. So he's gonna instruct the Marowak again. Okay. I don't know why he has Earthquake. Bone Meringue is so much better. <laughs> um, I should've just killed him. But that's okay. It's not gonna kill me, so I'm not really too concerned. Oh, did he crit me? Okay, no. no. Oh, that did good damage, actually. Actually, I could just let him go down to burn. No, I can't. Um, do you think he's gonna protect? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna play rough the Uranguru. And I'm gonna liquidation the Marowak. Just in case. Just in case. Yes, I do go faster. Sweet. So he should die, hopefully. Yes! Now he's gonna kill my Araquanid. I'm pretty sure he's gonna kill my Araquanid. I mean, I would kill my Araquanid. Yeah, go for that Psychic. Onto the Mimikyu, apparently. That kills my Mimikyu fine, but that was not a good play. <laughs> um, unless Trick Room's over. And if Trick Room is over... Weirdness. No, we've got one more turn left of Trick Room. So I bring in Drampa here. That was not a good play on his part. He should have killed the... He should have killed my, um... Ooh. Well, this isn't the worst thing. This isn't the worst turn of events. I'll just go for the Ice Beam on the coma O. And a lunge onto the Oranguru. Or should I just double into the coma O? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the Oranguru. We know he doesn't have Protect, so he will die. He still would have died, though, from Burn. Whatever. I think this is the better play. He's gonna, probably going to go for um, Clanking Scales. Okay, so Lunge kills the Oranguru. Good. Get out of here. Get the heck out of my house. <laughs> and uh, Ice Beam should do a decent chunk to this Como. Oh my god, it just straight up murders that thing. Yeah, he does go for the Clanking Scales. I don't think we'll die here, actually. I mean, Arachnid will. Oh, we take pretty pretty hefty damage there. Um, but I can just go for a... It might be Specs, judging by that damage. It might be Specs, but I can just go for a Heavy Slam here. That should still kill it, because it's not resisted, and he's very, very low on health. I don't think he can kill me, so I'm going to go for a Hyper Voice. I mean, I could go for Hyper Voice. It doesn't... Did I say Hyper Voice? No, I could go for an Ice Beam. But I don't think that's really worth it, and Heavy Slam should kill it. Because he's, he's gonna just take out my Drapple with Clanging Scale. Wait, no, oh no, his dr defense dropped, right. That's another thing that uh, Showdown does wrong. Um, they allow... Every time um, Koma O uses Clanging Scales in doubles, it loses two defense drops. Which is not how it's supposed to work, it's supposed to lose one. So it's even worse on Showdown, but it's not really that good in general. Alright, let's move on to the second battle. That was good. That worked out really well. I'm very happy with how that worked out. Uh, was that the second battle? No, that was the first battle. That was the first battle, I think. Uh, yeah, because I remember two minutes in, we fought a top of Lele. So, yeah, has to be. Alright, cool.
I like this team, boys. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so let's continue battling. I don't want to save this. Come on, where you at? There you go. No, I'm sure. Yeah, take some time. Blah blah blah. I want to continue. And let's get let's get some other music on. I wanted the Lusamine version two. There we go. I wanted to hear that one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're at 1587. I don't ever expect to get, like, super high rating, because I, I don't really try hard enough. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. This is, like, the exact same team. We've got Tapu Lele, Oranguru, um, Nihilego, Garchomp, Marowak, and Gyarados. Ugh, I'm just gonna start what I started. Mimikyu, Araquanid. Such a good lead. Uh, Drampa. And Mudsdale. Yep, I, I don't see why not. I mean... <laughs> If he starts Gyarados, I don't really care. I mean, what's a Gyarados going to do to a Raquanid or a Mimikyu? Um, if he starts, like... I mean, honestly, there's not really much he can do against the uh, the Araquanid. So, I'm okay with that. Um, it depends on how he plays it, though. Like, if he goes for Nihilego, Nihilego is faster than Garchomp, so Garchomp can just go for... Or, is it faster? I don't think it is, actually. No, I think it is. It's, like, 107 speed, I think. And Garchomp's, like, 102. So if, if it goes for the, the Sludge Bomb onto my Mimikyu, it will break the Disguise, and then Garchomp will have to go for, like, a Rock Slide or something. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, but if he starts, like, you know, Nihilego and anything plus Marowak and doubles into the Mimikyu, that's a problem. Because, well, we can't stop that from happening. Um, that's why I'm bringing Araquanid as sort of uh, preventative measures, uh, because... If he starts Marowak, he's going to have to risk losing his Marowak just to kill the, the Mimikyu, which wouldn't be worth it in his, in my opinion, for him. But we'll see. I don't think he got what he wanted because it went straight down to zero. Um, and if he forfeits because he didn't do that, I don't think we're going to look for another battle because it's already 12 minutes. So by the time we get into another battle, this, this episode is going to be like 30 minutes long. I only, want, I only want it to be like around 20. 30 minutes is way too long. I don't have the retention for that. So, Tapu Lele and Oranguru. Um... This is like the exact same lead. I'm just gonna go for Trick Room, and I'm gonna go for the Z onto Tapu Lele. I don't see why, why I wouldn't do that. That's really the best option here. Um, so yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for Trick Room. Let's go for Z Water. Onto the Lele, just one-shot that thing, get it out of here. Unless he goes for Z-Crystal and I lose my Raquanid, but then I get Trick Room up. Unless he goes for Trick Room with Orang Oranguru. Oh, there's just so many options. <laughs> so many options. It's like almost the exact same person with a slightly different team. It's very funny. He's like, okay, what's this gonna do? Like, what's the Araquanid gonna do? Am I gonna go for Thunderbolt and instruct the Araquanid, but then get Trick Room up? And he's like, but I killed the Araquanid. No, I should outspeed the Oranguru. Hopefully. So we only took eight seconds. So he's just gonna go for the Psychic, probably onto the Mimikyu. Okay, so you're a dead guy. You're a dead one. You are dead. Goodbye, Tapu Lele. Double Psychic. I mean, that does a lot of damage, yeah, but, uh, not enough. <laughs> not enough. So, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Boom! Hydro Vortex. Kill him, man. Kill him. Kill him. This is, like, such a nuke. You just kill everything in, in your path. I love it. Boom, baby. Garex. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, we do get Trick Room up, of course, because there's no way to flinch us through Psychic. And, uh, I mean, our Mimikyu is pretty low right now, but we can Paint Split. No big deal. I want to see what comes in, though. My Arachnid's at full, so it's not too bad. So he's going to bring in Marowak, which is sort of interesting. Um, I'm going to go for the Paint Split onto the Oranguru. And I'm going to go for the Liquidation onto the Marowak. Marowak can't kill me in one shot. Even if he does, does double uh, Shadow Bone, I should be fine. Hopefully. Um, although I might underspeed it. I don't know. Araquanid's really slow. Araquanid's like the Marowak counter. So I'm pretty confident in this. Protect. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. You didn't really have much of an option anyway. 
Um, liquidation goes off. He's probably gonna kill my Mimikyu here. No, he's going for Trick Room. Interesting. He's going for Trick Room. He has to be going for Trick Room. Yeah. There was no way. There was no way he wasn't going for Trick Room. Um, but he might be at... He might be a little bit wrong, because I think my Raquinid is actually faster than Marowax. So, this might might have been a bad thing for him. We'll see. He might go for a Shadow Bone and double it. Shadow Bone, yeah, exactly like I thought. It will take out my Mimikyu. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't survive that? Really? Damn it. I go out to Drampa now. I would go out to Mudsdale, but it's not a good that's not good for me. Let's go out into Mudsdale. I mean Drampa rather. Um he might be like, oh okay, it's just a Drampa, what's it gonna do? Um I am gonna just double into the Oranguru here. Uh hyper voice and play rough. I don't know if I'm playing this right, I'm probably not, but that's okay. Come on. He didn't protect? Okay, so he doesn't know my Drampa has Shadow Ball. That's not gonna kill the Oranguru, unfortunately. Wait, he didn't... Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought he would. Um, that's okay now. That's totally okay. Yeah, he's gonna kill me here. Critical hit did not matter. That thing one-shots me anyway, even with max investments. Um, so I bring in Mudsdale. And we know Mudsdale can one-shot the Marowak. I still have Trick Room up. So, I'm gonna actually just take out the Oranguru and I'm gonna Shadow Ball the Marowak. I could have Hyper Voiced, but I think this is a better play. As long as I don't miss my high horse. Come on, baby. Choose your, choose your, your oh, he, he didn't protect, really? Probably went for Trick Room. Hmm, I'm kind of confused that he didn't protect there. I, sh I love the Shadow Ball animation. Oh, oh, damn. So he's dead. Especially if he hits Strampa. I was gonna hit him once though. I'm gonna survive that for sure. But he's definitely dead. He just killed himself. And then he only has one thing left. So that was such a bad choice. He should have gone for Shadow Ball. Bone. I don't know why he didn't protect. He should have protected. Trick room's over, right? No. <gasps> Cause he unset it. Oh, the fool. <laughs> the fool. Oh, and he's Gyarados. Yeah, that's game. That's a hundred percent game. I have Thunderbolt, so get wrecked, fool. <laughs> um, I mean, I can't touch it with my, uh, my Mudsdale, so I'm just gonna go for a Heavy Slam, because it's the best option I have. Uh, and we just go for Thunderbolt, because Thunderbolt will kill it. Even if he protects. And he's gonna protect. I think we have one more turn left of Trick Room. If the, if the weirdness just disappeared, we should have one more turn left of Trick Room. Theoretically. Right? Because I didn't, I didn't set it the second turn. Yeah, I didn't set the second turn. I just wanna see, I should have one more left. Yeah. I set the third turn. I set the first and third. So Heavy Slam, Thunderbolt, he's probably gonna forfeit. I would if I was him, unless he had a walking berry. But that shouldn't, that actually shouldn't keep him alive. Cause I do have, I'm gonna hit him with some damage with Heavy Slam. It's not a lot, but it's enough that if he does have walking berry, he should, he should still die. I didn't die though, that's interesting. Yep, no walking berry, so he's dead. All right, beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very happy about that. Very, very happy. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to catch you guys at the next episode. Peace.